week 10 went by with a lot of monotonous stuff. So I didn't really film everything. I just decided to, uh, to sit tight and do it. And so what I've been doing with my crew here, uh, right now they're all at lunch. So I wanted to take this moment when it's quiet, the music's not blaring, to talk about the job. But since I filmed pretty much last, um, well, of all days, today is like 100 degrees. It's really, really hot. So it's an uncomfortable day, but it's um, it happens. So anyway, I might be perspiring. That's the reason. Plus, I just came from doing work outside. So anyway, let me catch you up to speed. Being different isn't a bad thing. It just means you're brave enough to be yourself. <laughs> Not like the other big success of me street, brother. They sent me to the schools where they try to reform ya. Felt like the honest kid who's in California. I'm an untucked darling, and I'm proud to be. I'm an untucked darling, doesn't bother me. I'm a strange bird, baby. I'm the first to say, I'm a strange bird, baby. It's the only way. One of these things is not like the other. Took a little while for my talent to uncover. Discovered. Prizes, we see different lines. We hear different voices, we see different signs. We have different callings, we're on different grinds. No, I'm different by design. I just started a little bit of exterior cutting the roof shape uh, around the cabin. So right now I'm trimming it to where the roof line hangs over about two inches and it has an angle cut. So basically when we put the valance around it, we'll have an angle, it will look a little better. Right now, as you can see, we have a few more windows. Yay! We've got two on the side that have been cut, the four in the front, and there's two more on that side. And so very, very soon, we will be cutting this one here and this one over here. And as you can see, we have a hole in the wall, which is now a window pretty much, but with no window. It'll just be a hole so you can see out. And that was cut yesterday by me and that one over there. Yeah, so it's it's really, really good. We're about to install all the windows. The window uh, ports have been cut, and now we're gonna do our, our work to make it strong and have a backing and do all that. That takes a lot of time too. So right now, we're cooking along, but we're in a detail phase and strength phase, and it takes a lot of manpower. So right now with three guys and myself, we're moving along pretty rapidly. Everyone who sees me and knows my project is saying, wow, you're moving quick. It seems forever because right now we're on week 11 in construction. So we're going on three months real soon. It's very, very soon to be three months. And uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, let me show you more of the project. Right here, we will be having a galley, a whole galley countertop. You might see a little red spot or line right there. That'll be the countertop and it will go all the way across. 
And uh, real soon, we will be having our floor built across this whole thing here. So we have a solid 24 foot beam access. So you can walk across without any up or down. So that's about to happen. Probably next week we'll be doing that. I'll be tearing out the old galley and the old seating and exposing the batteries and water tanks and everything else. I'm going to rebuild all of that uh, to where we'll have the water maker with the tank section. Uh, different arrangement along with the battery bank which will be put currently they're horizontal and we're going to go more of an angle against the hull. I'll have five lined up. I've got five 200 amp hour lithium batteries. It's uh, pretty much down there. That's where they're stuffed underneath under that blue sheet. We have four on top, one down below with all of our electronics, which is not the way to do it and not real presentable, not real easy to organize. So that was part of the trip. I will be reorganizing everything. And man, the details take time, as you might have already guessed in your projects. So right now we're focusing on the interior, uh, a lot of details. And as you can see, what we've been doing a lot of is fiberglass taping. So if you look, if you look on top there, you've got the brown stuff. That's 407 epoxy thickener filler. And we've been using a lot of that. And now we're going to a creamier color, which is the 410, to fill up all the little holes. So as you can see on the windshield, we refiberglass the whole windshield for strength. We thought it would be smart. We're taking measures everywhere possible to add strength. So wherever we can, we're putting really thick biaxial fiberglass on all the seams and two coats or three, three layers in sections we know it needs a lot more strength. Like for example, down here on the cross beams, we have this all done now. It's basically ready to build over. And that was two layers of biaxial connecting to the beam entirely. And so as you can see, it's pretty much done up to there. Then we're gonna complete this. So. Man, and I could show you outside right now, it's a total disaster. So if you watched earlier episodes, our roof is about roughly 19 feet by 19 feet. We had to bond three sections or three panels and the panels are 19, three inches uh, long by six foot, three inches wide and two and a half inches thick. It's R15 rated. So for heating and cooling, it's pretty damn nice. Today, it's about 100 degrees out and I feel maybe 75 temperature on the roof. And the roof right now is basically a lot of this brown stuff, so it should be extremely hot on deck, and it's not even really reflecting that at all inside. So that's what my goal was, to have the whole boat done with the R15 rated temperature control, so that will really help us during uh, cold season, warm season, all that stuff. Wherever we have tan on the outside, and we had tan and white on, on most of the panels, the rooftop, we have tan and we had to strip all the, the um, gel coat. So wherever you see the tan, we basically had to cut that back and bring it down to more of the material of the glass. And so right now we did a bunch of grinding. We did a uh, bunch of epoxying on the open areas. So probably tomorrow, because it will be cooler tomorrow. Right now it's blazing hot. We're going to sand the whole roof down flat and we're going to start laying a layer of cloth with epoxy and that'll be the fix. I was going to try to work with this, but it just didn't make sense. Just seemed like no matter what we would do, it would be a long term problem. Might as well do it now and do it right. So that's my, that's my motto. Anyway, it's baking out here. Back to sweating and I'll keep you up to date real soon. Hey, if you haven't liked and subscribed or subscribed, that'd be great if you could. Uh, I have a lot more content coming. We have so many more, and we're going to be at sea real soon, so you'll be able to see the end result. We'll be redoing that mast entirely on the proper steps on how to repaint an aluminum mast. I've worked with all grip, and I've got all the right stuff to do a real professional. It's probably six stages that we're going to go through to make this mast perfect, and it won't corrode in the future. And we're painting it a Matterhorn white. And uh, yeah, you should stay tuned for that. that. That'll be a whole series on that deal. Uh, along with rebuilding the decks, uh, retractioning. We're going to be doing the hull real soon. We're going to take out a few waves in the hull. We're going to flat board that with our crew. Ah, oh, man, just thinking about all the projects makes me kind of queasy. <laughs> what reality is plugging forward, moving forward. That's how I have to do it. And that's what I've done before. And I can see the end of the, end of the day. The result will be fantastic. So. That gives me the motivation to work daily. So if you want to see the whole project, stay tuned. We have a lot more coming. Yes! 
tearing all of this out.